Math and Science. In this video, let's find the LCM and GCF of 4 and 16 and also 5 and 9. And I like to use a factor tree to find both of them, the LCM and the GCF. So I'm going to create a, first let's find the LCM. Create a factor tree for 4, it's 2 times 2. Now for 16, we have 2 times 8, circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 4, circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 2. Now what I like to do is create a factor tree. I'm going to slide this up just a little bit. Not a factor tree, excuse me, a factor chart. So I have 4 and 16. I'm just going to write the factors for both of them. Factors for 4, 2, and 2. And then for 16, we have 2. I'm going to put a mark by it so I don't make a mistake. This 2 and this 2. Now to find the LCM, remember it's the lowest common multiple, so as a minimum it's got to be 16 or greater. You just bring down, uh, you basically multiply all the factors together. But if you have a pair, because we only have two numbers, if you had three numbers it would have to be three. Since we only have two numbers, you're looking for vertical pairs. If you do, you only bring one number down. So there's a two, and you bring one two there, and one two here. And one, two there. Then all you do is multiply these together for the LCM. So you have 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Now the LCM is 16. Now I can use the very same chart in order to calculate the GCF. So I'm going to move this up. Now let's find the GCF. And you can do the very same thing, except... This time, a vertical pair, you can only use vertical pairs. So I have a vertical pair here, so I'll use a 2. A vertical pair here, 2. Can't use this, can't use this, because you don't have a vertical pair. Remember, this is the GCF. 2 times 2 is 4. So here's the LCM. Here's the GCF. Now let's focus on 5 and 9. Okay, I'm going to use the same process, a factor tree, for finding the LCM and GCF of 5 and 9. Factor tree for 5 will not take long because it's prime. Now 9, I can go 3 times 3. Circle the 3 because they're prime. Now I'm going to create my chart for 5 and 9. For 5, it's just a 5. And then for 9, it's 3 and 3. Now for the LCM, remember... I just multiply all the factors together. I don't have a vertical pair, so I'm going to use 5 times 3 times 3. And that is 5 times 3 is 15. And then, and then 15 times 3 is 45. And I'll write this out. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 3 equals 45. Now that's the LCM. Now, for the GCF, I can use the very same chart. So let me rewrite it. So now, remember, for the greatest common factor, it's the least number that will multiply into both of these evenly, positive number. You have to have vertical pairs. And so you don't have a vertical pair here. You don't have one here, nor here. So when that's the case, the GCF equals 1. I hope that helps in finding the GCF of 4 and 16 and 5 and 9. Thanks for watching and Movie Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.